Hey guys, it's Adam with HealthyThaiRecipes.com and so today we are going to do the new uh, Panda Express copycat shrimp and steak stir fry. So this is kind of an agnostic recipe. I know Panda Express is Chinese, but then some of them like are all Asian, kind of Pan-Asian. Um, stir fry is kind of one of those. But Maude is gonna coach me through this because she's the one that figured out this sauce. Um, so this is olive oil. I know in Thailand they tend to use canola oil. I've got a piping hot wok. For the wok, you're gonna use uh, gas, this is butane, but it works good. If you're using an electric range, you're gonna use like a big skillet with a flat bottom to get that surface area. So I'm just gonna kind of coat the bottom there. And then the beef goes next because we're really gonna need to get it going. One of the tougher things you need to cook longer. Put that in. This is just like top sirloin. It was on sale. So that's why we're doing that. Not the best, but we go for sale items and we cook it all the way to 160 degrees. Stir fry. It's relatively easy because you're cutting it up so the surface area is less and it gets cooked through faster. So I'm going to let that brown pretty good before I put in some of the veggies because they also take a little longer to cook. So Panda Express, they had snap peas, some red bell peppers, um, they have potatoes, which you know in Thailand sometimes they use those like in masaman or yellow curry. And then of course like a yellow or a white onion. And then the sauce, we were on our own, so Maude figured out her best guess at how they did the sauce. But I really love Panda Express um, because they use brown rice. I don't know if you know, but you can go ask for the brown rice. And you know, some people disagree, but I, I like the whole grain rice because it's not as hard on your pancreas, it turns into blood sugar, not as fast, uh, a little slower so the glycemic index is lower. Long grain rice is also good. So you're going to want to cook that either like ahead of time or do some minute rice on the side or just not even cook it if you don't want to. But I mixed it all together with the sauce and it was good. It made it more filling. I don't think the stir fry itself would have filled me up. So I'm just going to keep cooking this for a little bit. I'm going to put a little more oil on there to speed it up. It's been a little while. It's made a little bit of gravy. Hopefully you have a better gas stove than this and you can go a little faster. We had to wait. So now I'm going to go ahead and put the liquids in. The, the light soy sauce. The cornstarch, which you have to keep from clumping up. This gives it a little more body and texture. I'm going to kind of stir it in there. Scrape the bottom. And then we got some sweet chili sauce. We have a recipe on our website for a lower calorie sweet chili sauce using stevia. So that'll save you some calories. So I'm gonna mix that in real good. Then I'll put the shrimp in last because it'll cook faster. And really you can eat clean raw shrimp anyways. Okay, so in goes the shrimp. Mix that in really good. Cook a little longer. Okay, a little coarse sea salt going in. And then Maude said she didn't taste any black pepper, but I like a little black pepper. So I'm going to grind some fresh. black pepper in. Pepper and steak just go really good together. And then we'll plate it. Serving spoon. And if you do yourself a favor and get everything ready before you cook, it just makes everything go smoother. I don't know, but that looks pretty darn too and close. I've even got the chopsticks similar to what they use. Try it out. The color of the sauce is similar. The shrimp you could do a little bit more if you wanted to, but it's pretty good. 
and the good thing is when you make it at home, you control the cost, you control what you put in it, you can adapt it however you want if you have special dietary needs. So there it is.